it's time for year 5 chapter 27 now if i sound a little congested it's because yes i'm still a little under the weather and uh, <coughs> now i have a now that permanent cough has grown into an actual sickness cough so uh, yeah i'm having a hard time talking <coughs> sorry yeah anyway i know i uh, promised i'd play baldi's basics and roblox but the thing is i have exams and i'm just going to give you an idea of how much i have I hate studies. I do not like them. Sometimes I wish I was dead. But then I wouldn't know what this is going on. Now we can show the word portrait to Rake Pick. Can we just get this over with? I'm just realizing I'm not even being able to talk properly. I am very sorry about that. Also this took forever to load. I am disappointed I missed the star shower. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Brilliant work. You've got the world portrait. That's Marula ya. Rick picks waiting. How do I use this thing? Professor? Oh my god, I can't talk at all. Professor, ek pick. I have the world portrait. Well done. I hear Peeves gave you quite a bit of trouble. He made a lot of unusual demands. Yes, the chaos has been the talk of Hogwarts. For my part, I'll smooth things over with the faculty. Thank you, Professor Ekpik. You've got a break in most that. You've got a break in that most professors have been preoccupied with efforts to save the cursed students. Now let's have a look at that wall portrait. Very interesting. Do you recognize the world? Do you know where it is? <coughs> you need to do everything you can to prepare for dragons. Dragons? Oh. Yes, find me when you're ready. What? That's it. That's quite a lot, Miss Silvers. Preparing for dragons is no easy feat. But there aren't any. But there aren't any dragons in this painting. Why do I have to prepare for them? Ha! One must always ready sword and shield before facing any dragon. A valiant like a valiant knight like you should know that much. Look at that fine suit of armor in the portrait there. Where is your suit of armor? It will serve you well in the dragon's lair. Please not now, Sir Cardogan. We have a very important curse-breaking work to do. Yes, I need to go now and study this world portrait further. But what about dragons? I have questions for you. <coughs> Then go on and ask them. There is no time to waste. <coughs> Sorry.
Now you all you Now you all you know need to know about dragons. All I know is that I don't know enough. Come to my classroom after you've prepared, and I'll teach you the con conjunctivitis curse, good for temporarily by blinding a dragon in a fight. We might have to blind a dragon. Perhaps now I need to go study this world portrait further. Nothing makes sense. That was rather frustrating, don't you think? Ah, ah so now you wish to speak with Sir Cardogan. <coughs> Sorry, Sir Cardogan. I'm just overwhelmed. Curse breaking can be exhausting. So can, you know, history and psychology. Now I need to decide how to prepare for dragons. Who to see next? Aren't you friends with the young wizard Charlie Weasley? Oh. It's rare that he passes by without talking of dragons. The lads a bit of zest with the teachers I dare say. Yes, of course Charlie knows tons about dragons. I'll meet up with him. And where will you meet Charlie Weasley? Where will I meet Charlie? Why does that matter? Oh. You're preparing to do battle with a dragon. Where you prepare can be as important as how do you prepare. <coughs> I can tell you a very long story of where I prepared before I rode into the west country to face the wagon of I. No, that's quite all right, Sir Cardogan. I'll just pick a place. Library. The library seems to be the best place to start if you're to study for dragons. I'll meet Charlie there. Now there's a fine young knight I know so well, ready to face a new trial. Ha! Farewell. I bid you safe passage to the library. Kiara, there are so many books about werewolves in here. Badia, I'm already researching the next spell I'll. <coughs> I'm already researching the next spell I'll invent. Our star shower surprised me, inspired me. Who tell what we're friends with him now? I was inside during whatever chaos everyone's talking about. Thanks for coming to the library with me, Charlie. <laughs> of course, I'm excited that you want to talk about dragons. Most people ask me to stop talking about them. Shh. I suppose we can't talk very loudly about dragons. Huh. Still, it beats our usual outing, visiting Duncan and Peeves in the prefect's bathroom. Yes, I'm glad we finally have the world portrait. Well, Rick picked us. She told me to prepare for dragons before we go any further. Who Ben is sitting behind? You picked the you picked the best place to start. Let's find my favorite books about dragons.
I need to do more than read about dragons to prepare to face one. Okay, why is Ben looking at us like that? Huh. Definitely. How you prepare could depend on the breed of the dragon. For instance, knowing a Peruvian vi viper tooth has venomous fangs is something you'll want to remember. Yes, especially if that's a dragon I'll have to face. Huh. Baines knows a lot about history that encounters with dragons if you want more facts but don't have time to read. You just have to stay awake long enough to get the answers to your questions. I can do that. I have to learn everything I can about dragons. My life could depend on it. Oh. Are you going to fight a dragon, Sarahi? I'm going to at least prepare to defend myself from one. Huh. We won't scare you with the details, Ben. We don't have any, many details, actually. Mm. I'm not scared. Whoa. That is awesome. Oh, you usually are scared of almost everything. You often tell us so. Mm. I suppose that's true. But I saw how scared everyone was during the recent chaos and I realized I must look like that all of the time. It made me want to try and be braver. In fact, I was just reading a book about wild nifflers and I didn't flinch once. Aha, that's nice. That's terrific that you're getting braver, Ben. Keep it up. <coughs> Thanks. Nifflers aren't so scary. Even if they will rip a shiny chain right off your neck. <laughs> and do you remember when we had that giant niffler outside? It could have trampled us, but it didn't. You're right, that's something I hadn't thought about. <sighs> I think it's great that you want to be braver, Ben. And there's nothing wrong with being scared sometimes either. Uh -huh. Thank you for saying that. I'll let you get back to your dragons. I wonder what's gotten into Ben. Good stuff, that's what. Perhaps he's just ready for a change. He'll be six years soon. Time for a fresh start. Right after you and my brother break that portrait course. Yes, back to dragons. I'm off to see Professor Ben. Okay, I have enough diamonds to skip this. This is what I save up my diamonds for. Okay, we're in history of magic. Sickleworth, what are you doing? <coughs> so Rakebuck told you we would have to face a dragon in the next cursed world? Not exactly, she only said she said only to prepare for dragons. Bill and I are apprentice curse breakers too. Why would Rakebuck tell you about the dragons and not us? Rakebuck is unpredictable. Who knows why Rakebuck told me and not you? She's rather unpredictable. Ugh. That's what makes Rakebuck such a powerful witch. She can take her enemies by surprise. Let's hope she can surprise an angry dragon. <coughs> Rakebuck did say she would teach us the conju conju conjunctivitis curse once we were prepared. <laughs> now see, that's the headline. You should have told us that for Silvers. All right, where's Bins? Let's get the boring stuff out of the way so we can go and learn how to blind a dragon. <coughs> Good day, uh, students. Where are your classmates? Are they late? Am I early? There's no class right now, Professor Bins. We've come to learn about dragons. Which ones? There are many kinds of dragons. There are Swedish snout snouts, short snouts, and Peruvian viper tooths, and Romanian longhorns, 
and Norwegian Ridgebacks and Hungarian Horntails and Chinese Fireballs and let's start with all of the dragons any dragons <coughs> yes we'd most like to learn what to do if we ever come across a dragon a history of dragons of course no I don't think we need much history our dragon problems are very much in the present The history of dragons it is. Let's begin. He is not listening. Why does this stuff take so long to load? Yeah, I can see people dozing off. Look at me, look at me, he's dozed off. <laughs> Bill looks, Bill and Marula, they both look funny when they doze off. Like, look, Marula has dozed off now. Look, Bill has dozed off again. <coughs> Professor Bins, if I may interrupt. We need to know less about the dragons themselves and more about how to defeat a dragon. <coughs> How can you defeat an opponent you do not know? Let's continue. The eggs of a Chinese fireball are crimson speckled with gold. Take note, the crimson and gold eggshells are highly valued by Chinese wizards. Can you two stay until Bins finishes his lecture? See if you can pick up any useful information. Oh. <coughs> what? Where are you going? To find us some practical advice on about how to face a dragon from Hagrid. Is Hagrid still mad at me about the whole troll thing? I sure hope not. I mean I love Hagrid. Everybody loves Hagrid. I don't understand why the loading always takes so long. Anyway, Hagrid. Hello, Hagrid. Have you forgiv forgiven me yet about the troll at the training grounds? <clears throat> I don't think the troll's forgiven yet. He was a mite angry when he came to his senses. It was all Diego Kaplan and I could to get the troll back to the forbidden forest. He's quite a talker, that one. But as for you, I can't stay mad at Yasarahi. Ah. You're a thoughtful one, throwing me that birthday party. Ah. I know your heart's in the right place, even if your choices worry me sometimes. Thank you, Hagrid. Ah. I hope you got what you needed out of all that trouble you caused. I did. I got a portrait of the next world. It should help us break the curse. Somehow. So then what brings you here today? Um, I want to learn about how to face dragons. Dragons now? Did you learn nothing from facing a troll? <coughs> I had a feeling you'd be upset that I'm asking. Well, you already finished it out, so I know you're not asking because you're studying dragons for your exams. Please, Hagrid, I need advice I can use if I have to fight or defend myself against a dragon. Charlie is too much of a fan of dragons. Professor just spouts facts about his 
about dragons and what they've done throughout history. Ah. And this is still about breaking the curse and saving the students in the portraits. Always, Hagrid. You, I won't be taking these risks, these risks otherwise. There could be a dragon in or near the cursed world we'll be entering. Ah. Alright, I know I'm not gonna stop here so I better prepare here. Here's what I know about dealing with dragons. Now what? Ah. I shouldn't have told you all that. But you've helped a lot. Thanks, Hagrid. Ah. Promise me I won't go facing a dragon alone, especially if you don't know what breed you're, gun you're dealing with. Oh. In fact, you should try to get whatever what you need in the vault, steering clear of dragons if you can. Ah. Even then, if it's a Hungarian Horntail you're up against, it can shoot fire as far as 50 feet. Don't forget that. How would I recognize one of those? Black scales, spiky with horns, especially its tail. It's very, very dangerous. I understand, and I won't be alone. Professor Akepik is leading us apprentice curse breakers. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. At least you're leaving some of the curse break into the grown-ups. I'm up to see Rakepick now. It's time for me to learn the conjunct con con conjunctivitis curse and I'll never be able to say that at once. This I'm assuming no, there's one more part. I'm seeing now that we don't change into our robes every time we enter the classroom, which is good. It really made no sense to revise. <coughs> it's been a while since I've had all of my apprentice curse breakers together. We have been rather busy. I'm sure Mr. Weasley has been preoccupied with graduation fast approaching. And congratulations on completing your OWL exams, Miss Silvers and Miss Snide. Thank you, Professor Akepik. I thought they were easy. I think Sarai has been the busiest of all, wreaking havoc to get that wall portrait from Peeves. I hated creating chaos. I just hated it. I'm quite glad I'm, quite glad I'm done with creating chaos. It was stressful and frightening. And I had to drag my friends into it just to get the job done. <coughs> but it had to be done if we're going to break the curse and save Beatrice and the others. What matters is you secured the world portrait. And I'm assuming you've done your homework in preparing for dragons. <coughs> I'm assuming that's the world portrait over there behind the books. 
Min gave us a ton of histor- historical facts. After I chatted with my brother about dragons, I, I think Sarahi did too. Yes, Charlie and I studied dragon books in the library. And Hagrid gave me some brilliant advice about dealing with particular breeds of dragons. Good, then it's time for me to teach you the conjunctivitis curse. Hey, I said it right this time. It can be used to impair a dragon's eyesight. But what about the wall portrait? After studying it further, do you know where the next cursed wall is? One thing at a time, right now, what's most important is that you learn how to cast this curse. A dragon can't kill you if it can't see you. Can't it though, with it breathing fire and all? Do you want to learn the curse or not, Miss Knight? Yes, I want to learn the curse. That's what I thought. Let us begin. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right, now you give it a go. Oh. Just practice though. Obviously, you shouldn't cast the conjunct- conjunctivitis curse on each other. Oh. Sometimes I can't tell if you're warning us or daring us, Professor Rickwick. Let's save the curses for the dragons, Marula. It is an eye shape. I don't see how this curse is making the training dummy go so far. <clears throat> well done, apprentice curse breakers. You just might be ready. Ready to defeat a dragon? Ready to find the next curse vault? Ready to save the curse students? Ready to hear from someone who's seen a dragon up close? Oh. Pay a visit to Professor Kettleborn. Afterwards, we'll, be, we'll talk about going to the vault. Okay, I should have known we'd go to Professor Kettleborn at least once.
Nizzle. Puff skin behind the tree. A puff skin behind the bag of food. And another puff skin and another puff skin and fire crab. I love this classroom. Oh. Welcome students. Most of the puff skins are napping if you've come to toss them about. Why would you think we've come here to do that? Oh, um, I come here to throw puff skins around. I come here sometimes to throw puff skins around. Mirula, really? What? It helps me think. The kettle burn lets me. The puff skins don't mind. Rather, some even seem to enjoy the spirited play. If it's not the puff skins, then what brings you here? We've come to talk to you about dragons, Professor Kettleburn. Professor Rakewick says you've seen one up close. Indeed, I make regular visits to dragon sanctuaries. Despite the obvious hazards of a wizard with wooden prosthetics roaming around the fire-breathing dragons. Would you like to hear about it? <coughs> yes, we'd like to learn whatever we can about how dragons behave. Excuse me. Oh -ho! But of course, all that all of you know better than to go looking for dragons. What if we weren't going what if we weren't looking for dragons, but one found us? Oh I should hope you would avoid it entirely. Dragons are dangerous creatures. We've learned a lot about the different breeds, so we'd know what so we'd know some of what to expect. <clears throat> but do you know enough Miss Silvers? For instance, which dragon is known for its venomous fangs? Peruvian viper tooth. The Peruvian Viper Tooth has venomous fans. Charlie told me so. You and Charlie would be correct. My brother is deadly wrong when it comes to dragons. He was the very first person I went with my went to with my dragon questions. Let's say you find a dragon egg that is crimson speckled with gold. To which breed does it belong? Chinese fireball. I remember Professor Bins mentioned this. It's a Chinese fireball. Yes, that is correct. The eggs of a Chinese fireball dragon are crimson speckled with gold. Ugh. I remembered the answer too. Perhaps I dozed off during that part of the lecture. Here's one more for you. What's the furthest distance a hung What's the furthest distance a Hungarian and Hontail can shoot fire? Up to 50 feet. <coughs> Hagrid and I were just talking about this. Hungarian hortails can shoot can shoot fire as far as 50 feet. Uh -oh. 50 feet is correct. That distance could mean the difference between life and a fiery finish. Uh -oh. But you certainly know your dragons, Miss Silvers. Yeah. All correct answers. I'm impressed. Yeah. 10 points to house Hufflepuff. You should see the Hufflepuff house our glass. It's overflowing with points. Thank you, Professor Kettleburn. If you'll excuse me, I have a hungry hippogriff to tend to. Please do try to stay away from dragons in the meantime.
So is this the part where we do exactly what Kettleburn just told us not to do? Yes, I think so. I love this part. The curse must be broken. Ready or not, we need to get into the next curse world. That's done with this chapter. Now the lessons. My dear student, make sure you are prepared. Now I'm not going to be talking much during the lessons because, well, reasons. Please understand. <coughs> Excuse me. And as usual, I am the only one ever prepped for demonstrations. Hey, Ben is sitting behind me. I did not notice that. On Rovan, really? Okay, that confused animation is more funny than the regular confused That's animation. Awesome. 
I feel like somebody cast confidence on me and that is why I can't understand my psychology book. <coughs> Now flying. I don't think Ben is afraid of heights anymore. Ah. 
That's a cool animation. That's a really cool animation. Are we going to get Quidditch soon? I hope we get Quidditch soon. I want to play Quidditch. I want to be a beater. <coughs> 34 chapters. I was right. About Marula. As the time nears to enter the cursed world, your relationship with Marula Snide is about to change. Isn't that nice? So she is calling us to Hog's Head in. Okay. Well, that's all for this one. I hope you liked it. And I don't expect too many videos from me in the next year at least. Because I am going to be extremely busy. I'm sorry, but it's just gonna happen. There's nothing I can do about it. So, that's all and um, bye.